Welcome to my channel. I'm here to show you guys how to get an early mini universe. So as you can see, I'm in character creation. I don't know why it's raining. Somehow there's rain in the background, whatever. And in this character creation, I have two outer disciples that I rolled. And these outer disciples have really good construction level. And they're just bulls, so they're just good outer disciples in general. They probably have good movement speed and they also have good farming and construction. So I just did that because to actually build the mini universe takes a lot of time and I want to build it out as early as possible. So that's something to consider if you want to get a mini universe as early as possible is that you might want to get a really good outer disciple and besides that it may take you a little bit longer to build the mini universe because of how long it takes to build. I would say that the mini universe takes about 20 days to build on average once you finally get the materials to build it so the first step to get in the mini universe is getting golden core and going to ruins of taiyi so that you may unlock the recipe i'm going to be cultivating the metal law so i'm going to be using earth items to cultivate with and i'll be going to mount baron first to cultivate and get to golden core if you want to see how to get an early golden core i have another video on that so feel free to watch that and if you already know then congratulations all right so now i'm going to get into the video and build out my sect and then show you guys exactly how i gathered the materials to get mini universe after i get the golden core all right so first thing you want to do is get to golden core so that you may unlock the early uni mini universe so we're getting to golden core golden core score doesn't really matter okay now as you can see i've unlocked access to the three key locations that i mentioned earlier which are mount tiger paw sky dome palace and sunshade abode and i'm going to show you guys how to steal from these locations in order to steal from mystic unity sect you need to wait until the elders leave and then at that point you can grab the key items that you need for your mini universe which are phoenix wood and you'll need some heaven's breath to trade that for the ore so that you can make the ice essence and the fire essence from the other sects that sell it. To steal from Mystic Unity sect is pretty easy. Easy. There's a secret pathway and I'll show you what the secret pathway look like, looks like. The secret pathway looks like this. You have to stand on this tile right here and then click on the corner of this room and your cultivator will be able to fly out with the items without being detected because you'll be so far from the elder disciples so as you can see i can do that so from there to there it's always this middle tile and if you mess up like i just did right now you can just click on there and try to save yourself so pretty much just like that what i'm gonna do is grab the phoenix wood and four heaven's breath i don't need all of the phoenix wood so i'm just gonna grab exactly what i need However, you could get everything if you wanted to. And then when you fly, you can redirect your cultivator to get to a safe zone, which is around here, anywhere in the back. As you can see, my hidden icon disappeared. That means that I cannot be caught from stealing. Therefore, I can now unhide and leave the map. And that's how you steal the Heaven's Breath from Mr. Unisec, and you will use the Heaven's Breath to make the Ice Essence and the Fire Essence bar. Okay, now I'm in Sky Dome Palace, and I'm here to basically get the Lumina Core, and hopefully the Holy Stone. I probably won't be able to get the Holy Stone, though, because Sky Dome Palace is a little bit harder, but I'll show you guys how to steal from there. When you're in Sky Dome Palace, to get out of this treasure room, you can trigger flight, just like in Mr. Unity Sect, by clicking on this pine tree and looking at the pathing of your cultivator, and I'll show you guys what the right path looks like. So... As you can see, the pathing right here is like, it's not a perfectly slanted line. What you want is the slanted line. This is what I call the squiggly line. If you get this, then you have to cancel your movement and, because your cultivator will not fly. So let me try to get the slanted line. As you can see right here, this is the perfectly slanted line. What I did was I stopped my cultivator from moving and then I re-clicked the pine tree to get a new pathing line. So this is perfect. 
and this is the line that you want to get after you steal and then once you get this line you want to increase your speed a little bit and then as you can see my cultivator can now fly out of the sect pretty much so if there's no elders around here then you want to fly out otherwise you want to wait until the coast is clear over here so that you can exit the legit way and just exit out through the sides all right i'm going to try to steal these items from mr unit this is what i will see as a perfect opportunity to steal from sky dome palace as you can see there's no cultivators over here so when I start to fly, I won't have a really have a high chance of getting caught after I get the item. I really just have to worry about the cultivators over here and if they may like move over into the treasure room. But in general, this is a pretty good spot for me to steal from Skydome Palace. I could also exit through the left side if I wait a little bit longer for this guy to leave. However, I'm going to try to use the flight method instead of the legit method. And I'm feeling pretty confident about this, so I think I'm going to try to steal the Lumina Core and the Holy Stone. But in most cases, you just want to get the Lumina Core because you can always get the Holy Stone from Sunshade Abode and it's significantly more easier than stealing two items from Sky Dome Palace. Alright, so wish me luck on this. So I'm still hidden. And that's my cue to continue to try to get the Holy Stone. Okay, now that I have the Holy Stone, I'm red. And now I just have to play and as you can see I do have that perfect pathing line which I talked about earlier and I so I know that my cultivator is going to fly however my cultivator only has a movement speed of 13 and the way to trigger flight is you basically break the movement speed barrier to the point where the game can't really figure out how your cultivator will get to the next location so then they just fly and the best way to do that is to run your game on three times speed if you have low movement speed but if you have high enough movement speed to trigger flight on one time speed then i recommend you do that because when you go to straight to three times movement speed you have to also pause your game perfectly for when you trigger flight so you can redirect your cultivator to go the right way so i'm going to try to pull that off okay as you can see i failed to pull that one off it's because my movement speed is low However, just thinking out loud, I did notice that the coast is pretty clear on the way down, so I'm still good to steal from here legitly. So if you want to steal from Skydome legitly on the way outside of the sect, then you want to get to like around here, and then you can leave the sect. As you can see, I'm still not caught, and I had just I still have the eye on me. But now I do not have the eye on me, so I can unhide and leave the sect with the Lumina Core and the Holy Stone. And with that, I have every item that I need in order to build an early mini universe. I'll show you guys how to steal from Sunshade Abode as well. But if you can do both of those items in Sky Dome Palace, then you should be good. I already have enough materials to create the mini universe. However, I'm going to show you guys how to steal from Mount Sunshade instead. In the case that you guys had trouble stealing two items from Sky Dome Palace and would like to steal from Mount Sunshade to get the Holy Stone because you really only need that Lumina Core from Sky Dome Palace and you can get the Holy Stone from Mount Sunshade fairly easily as well as the Phoenix Wood if you don't want to go to Mr. Unity's sect this moment. So as you can see this is the treasure room for Sunshade Abode and you really just have to make sure that these disciples that hang out around here leave and then whenever your eye goes gray is when you can nab the holy stone and leave however i would recommend you also go into this artifact room and steal these artifacts there's a nice little secret pathway to get into the artifact room kind of similar to the one that i showed you in the sky dome palace but this one is more simple you go to the left side and then you go in between this tree and pagoda and then you click on this fire essence lamp and that will allow you to trigger flight and fly into this building without having to cross elders and potentially getting caught so it's just like this is very simple so usually what I'll do is I'll steal the item I'll steal the holy stone or whatever I want sometimes I'll get the prison lotus but my eye is red already and I'm not going to risk it because I'm just trying to get this tutorial and now I'm in a safe zone and then I'll go over here in between this pagoda and tree 
and this pro whatever this tree is this ginkgo tree and then i'll click on this fire essence lamp and go into this treasure room to get these artifacts for my cultivators that are pretty good as you can see it's still pretty early so i should have waited for these guys to have also left but if these guys but if you let your game run longer then you can literally take all of these items like this item has 253 artifact battle power this has 157 it's my favorite and you can loot these items and then leave the same way that you came so i'm just going to pick up one item since there's still elders around however they would definitely leave if i waited longer and then you just fly back to that same location from the lamp to the location and now you're good and you can unhide and leave the sec and that's how you steal the holy stone from sunshade abode or the phoenix wood all right so next you want to get the item that's going to give you the recipe for the mini universe and that's in the ruins of taiyi at this pagoda on the left side of it it's called the legacy of taiyi and once you unseal this, once you bring this item back to the sec, you can unseal it, and then you'll get the recipe for the mini universe. But you need a golden core cultivator, and that's why I specifically rush to get the golden core because I want to rush the mini universe. And then you'll also need some blocks so that you can build a furnace to cr create the ice essence and the fire essence bars. And I'm pretty much ready. The only thing that's stopping me from creating my mini universe right now is the merchant and making sure that I can get a thousand spirit stone from the merchant and then how fast my guys can smith uh, fire essence and ice essence bars. The next step is to build your furnaces and once you have your furnaces you can create fire essence and ice essence bars. So I'm going to have that set up. As you can see I do not have 99 ice crystal or 99 igni copper ore. However you can trade these sets. Mount Shu sells Igni Copper Orb. And you can trade. What I do is I trade two Heaven's Breath for the 100 Orb. However, right now it's not a fair trade because this I haven't given the sect a gift and I have less favor with them. I have less than zero favor with them because I'm on Immortal Mode. However, if you're playing on Vanilla Mode, you should be able to trade them for the going rate or even higher prices. I don't remember what regular vanilla mode looks like though. So I'm going to give them a gift so that I may tra trade them for a fair price. As you can see now the heavens brush is worth 2500 and I give them two for 100 ore. And then I do the same thing with Esculent Sect or whatever sect I know sells Ice Crystal ore. I give them a favorite and then I trade them. So now I pretty much have all of the materials for the mini universe and I'll instill this with my golden core cultivator. And then once I have the secret codex of Taiyi, I'll examine the secret of codex of Taiyi to unlock the recipe for the mini universe. And as you can see, if I go to wonder section, if I look at the mini universe, materials requirements I have everything that I need I just need holy stone block and as you can see I have holy stone right here and then I just need the ice essence and the fire essence bars to be crafted so the only thing that I'm waiting for now is for the merchant to come which they will come on day 21 or day 20 and then I'd like to save to come around there and make sure that I can get 1000 spirit stone from them all right, so I got the beast blood and now I'm going to show you guys how to save scum your game and prepare for merchant. What you want to do is save your game and rename it. As you can see, I saved my game as day 20 merchant. It says early universe tutorial day 20 merchant. And then you want to copy your save file and then paste it into another folder. I created this folder for this tutorial. So I'm just going to paste it here. And then when the merchant comes, I'm looking to sell the merchant the extra Venus wood that I got from Mystic Unity Sect and I'll be able to trade that Venus wood for enough spirit stone to create my mini universe basically and if you're on immortal mode then you have to continuously save scum until the merchant is accepting material items so this step is really only for people who are on Tribulation 9. Okay let's see what the merchant is uh, accepting perfect they only accept material items which is exactly what I have 
so that was just a really lucky thing so i can trade them holy stone phoenix wood whatever and now i can i also can create a mini universe gate with the materials i have so i'll do 2000 and then i'll also just buy whatever looks cool obviously you want to get the firecracker but that's besides the point and that's not a part of this tutorial And with that being complete, I now have everything that I need to craft this mini universe. And on top of that, I have two super outer disciples that I rolled during character creation. So let's see how quickly these guys start to build this mini universe. Mini universe is here. Set these guys on builder. This is a key part if you want to get it super fast. You want to have those stronger outer disciples that can build quickly. Otherwise, you're going to be waiting for probably like 20 days or so. As you can see, it's moving pretty quickly. And I'm on day 21 on Tribulation 9. So if you're on vanilla, then the building speed is going to be half. So you would be on like 30% right now and get your mini universe significantly faster than me. Unless you did not choose to create those outer disciples. Or roll those outer disciples with high construction. These guys are amazing by the way. They have great farming, great, great construction level. And that's why my site looks pretty nice and more nice than it usually does because I have these guys. Okay, these guys are interrupting my tutorial. Let's make sure that they actually died. As you can see, we're already 50% done our mini universe because of these guys. And also, I got really lucky on top of that. And two sex were selling scrapers, which increases building speed. So you always want to check through these sex to see like what items they have because sometimes they sell really good items that are useful for your outers to do good work. As you can see, my mini universe is now on 70%. Most of the time when I do this, I get the mini universe around day 45. However, for the tutorial, I wanted to try my best. So I did roll those really overpowered outer disciples and that's how I'm able to get my mini universe this quickly. Don't feel like any type of way if you can't get your mini universe this quick. Any time before like day 100 is a fast mini universe so yeah my mini universe is created and I have it so now I can just auto loot everything and pretty much I don't really have to worry about anything so as I if I hit acquisition you'll see all of the storage freed up and everything is good so that concludes my tutorial on how to get a mini universe I hope this helped I hope that it wasn't too long because my goal was to make the tutorial shorter and easier for you guys to understand while also not taking up too much of your time so that's pretty much it thank you for watching but if you started your game with Fey or Lushu and then you killed the Fey or Lushu then you could get beast blood that way by having a hunter with high hunting kill or butcher the Fey or Lushu and that will yield beast blood however if you did not do that then you could still get beast blood by creating really bad artifacts as you can see right here I used metal one because he just naturally had high artifact crafting to craft artifacts out of marble and graystone. And with that, I'll then go to Mount Coppertoon and fight one of these monsters so that I can get enough beast blood to create the ice and fire essence bars. So that's pretty much how you get that. And I'll demonstrate that right now. You don't have to have two cultivators, you can do it with just one. And you just have to run around and this 
beast will never be able to reach you. So when they do reach you into this room, you just have to go over here and like kind of juke them around. And then they'll never ever be able to fight back. And that's essentially how you get the beast blood. As you can see, as this frog is trying to path to my cultivators, he's running into that area right here and just falling over there. So now that they're dead, I can butcher them and collect beast blood. Alright, so if you don't want to steal from sex because that's just not how you want to play the game, then there are alternatives to getting the early mini universe legitly. You just have to adventure to certain locations. So there are some lo uh, locations in the map where if you adventure to those locations and you have a cultivator that has a high luck and they are a good element or they, they, they work with the element of the item that you're trying to get. For example, if you wanted to get an earth flux, then you would adventure there with a fire cultivator and you have a fairly high chance of getting the earth flux given that your cultivator has a high luck. However, early game, you can't always have a cultivator with good luck so it's better to just look at the notable on-site resources because these are items that will always be on the site when you camp and enter in there so i'll go over the items that are contained in the material recipe for a mini universe so first you also you'll need a lumina core so you can get a lumina core from abyss and you unlock the abyss location by continuously adventuring to Mount Pit Pitfall and then once you get assets into Mount Pitfall you'll be able to go into the Abyss location and pick up a Luminicorn off the ground and then if you have the Wudang DLC then you can adventure to Golden Peak multiple times until you unlock South Rock Palace and then on site of South Rock Palace will be a Holy Stone it's not in the wiki but there's a lot of Holy Stone in South Rock Palace as well as some other good items and then for the Phoenix Wood, you can adventure to Mount Lucian and you'll be able to unlock Phoenix Cliff location and then go in there and get the two Phoenix Wood that you need in order to craft the mini universe. And this is a very popular location that people would lo adventure to multiple times because they want to unlock Wyvern Pool to get the dragon feces. So it's like you're crushing two birds with one stone. And then besides that, the fastest way to unlock these locations is to increase your adventure fly speed and your adventure exploration speed. So you want to make some, you want to use sacred talismans to make departing shadow talismans, spiritual traveling talismans, and forestier talismans because those are going to drastically speed up the speed in which you find these locations. And then that way you'll be able to unlock the mini universe with your golden core code to be cultivators fairly quickly without even needing to steal so 